there. I just got a bowl. There she is. She's inside the bowl. She's still moving around. She's trying to... Yeah. I still, I still want to help her just free those wings because she's not able to really fly. She's just jumping around. Um, in Arabic, we call this moth Bishar al-Khair, which means bringer of luck. I don't know why, but I've never felt any harm or disturbance from these moths. They're, I've, I've always protected them in my room, in my house. Not because of the, 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 the name we give them. I wasn't aware of that name, like, like only until recently in my life. Oh, there she is, look, she's crawling, 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 crawling. Trying to fly. Let her there, okay. Wait, 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 just go back in, go back in, go back in. I'm just going to try to undo her wings, her sticky wings, because she really wants to fly. She really wants to fly, but... to try to free free those wings with something um, okay come on uh, let's just try to see how those wings are she's it's like kind of exercising now just to get those wings to fly just try to help her and try to help her just the best we can to undo those sticky wings because there, there, there we go. Very gently, I try with my nail. Uh, poor moth. I don't know why they fall in. <laughs> they love going to dangerous places, like fire and uh, and uh, you know, drinks. <laughs> Every time I leave a drink uncovered in my room, in the morning I find moss just laying there dead. Breaks, breaks my heart. I know there some a lot of people will say they're just moss, you know. They, they will die anyway. Well, we will die anyway, so... Why is it not okay for us to treat each other like bad, you know? Why is it only about us, you know? I mean... Why isn't feeling compassion and love towards other animals a bad thing? So I don't think it's a bad thing at all. I think it's an amazing thing. I've, I've always felt that for other creatures, it was never like... Uh, a pretense, false pretense. It's uh, it's always been real. Actually, I've always been, you know, criticized for that, even by my parents. No, oh, you're too sensitive. You're, you know, like like whenever I see my dad trying to kill flies, I tell him, why are you, why are you trying to kill flies? He was like, oh, come on, man, they're just flies. But I'm like, yeah, but they're alive, man. They're, they they feel like. At least if you kill something, at least it should be by self-defense. Yeah, I know flies are not clean and stuff, I know, but you can always chase them out of the house. And you know flies only come inside of a house when there's a foul smell somewhere. <laughs> My room rarely has any flies flying around, even if I leave the, the window open. Because I never let my house stink. It's always clean, as clean as I can keep it, and it's naturally clean. It's not like clean with like a artificial kind of smell, you know. 
like perfume or something. No, it's very clean. It's like I put incense. I I clean it, of course, with you know, wash wash the floor and just clean. You know, it's a clean environment. Moths love love it. <laughs> uh, flies don't really come here much. They they just pass by and then go out. There are a few houses which are like uh, full of flies. Just the living room, just full of flies. Flies just flying around. And the house seems clean, but it's not really clean, you know what I mean? So, flies would go to places where it's not clean. If you don't want flies, don't kill the flies. Just clean your house. But clean it the right way. Don't. Don't just put perfume everywhere. That's not cleaning it, you know? You're just covering the stench. (laughs) Perfume just covers the stench. If you really want to be clean, you got to go, you got to dig in deeper. You got to wash. You got to look for where it's, where it's nasty, where it's dirty, and wash it away. Clean it out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I guess. Uh, I should have. I should have done this as a as a live video. That would have been better. I'll do that next time. But yeah, I think. I think this moth will be okay. I think this moth is going to be okay. We should just let it rest. Oops, there you go. Just let it rest and uh, eventually she'll be able to fly again, I think. Hopefully. There you go. Come on, moth. Fly, 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 go, go, go. Let's try to put it here. Come on, come here. There you go. All right. There you go. Yeah, just stay there, rest. I'll keep you somewhere dry and warm and safe until you're able to fly. And then if your destiny is to die somewhere, then so be it, but... As long as you're in my custody, I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to harm you. I'm only going to help you get better. Because that's just an expression of who I am. An expression of how I feel towards living beings. I'm not trying to do this to seem a certain way or, you know, it's just natural. I mean, human beings are full of compassion. It's it's a natural thing for a human being. When a human being is feeling peace with, in peace with themselves and in harmony with themselves, all they can express is uh, is uh, love and compassion, not a fabricated love and compassion like we see most of the time. You know, especially for morality and religion. No, but an, in, an an honest one. I'm not doing this to get a reward somewhere in heaven or, you know. It's just uh, an expression of my nature. And um, if I'm feeling nasty, I would be harsh. I would not harm, but I would be harsh. I would not smile much. I would not, you know. I would not really, it's not that I'm not going to be loving, even when I'm not feeling well or angry or something, I'm still able to be loving. Uh, that's, that's the awesome thing about it. But, you know, I'm still angry or still sad or mad or something. And, and I show it. I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not ashamed to show that either. It's not that, oh... Now people are going to think I'm not really peaceful, blah, blah, blah. No, we have to be honest. We have to be natural. That's what's really missing today in our 
so-called spiritual um, um, you know uh, communities or <laughs> you know people people think they always have to keep this smiley face uh, whatever even even if they're feeling terrible with themselves it's the best way to be free from your negative feelings and emotions is to recognize it, is to not run away from it. The best way to run away from it, or sorry, the best way to overcome negative states of being is to actually seriously look, look it in the face and accept it. Only when you accept it can you convert it into something positive. If you don't accept it and you just try to cover it up with forced positivity, which is always fake, um, you're just making it worse for yourself. You're just making it more, you're creating more accumulations of negative energy just for the sake of seeming peaceful, seeming positive. And uh, I get a lot of uh, shit from people. When I'm feeling a certain way, I show it, and then they're like, oh, you're a fake. You're not really peaceful. Look, you're getting angry. And I tell them, I know, I am getting angry, and I'm not afraid to show it. It takes a lot. <laughs> Even Sadhguru said it once. It takes a lot. Because he said something... And it seemed so arrogant for him to say it. And and he knew that people would be like, Oh, Sadhguru, you're so arrogant for saying this. And he was like, it takes a lot to seem arrogant. Someone who would dare to look arrogant. It takes a lot. It takes a lot of guts, you know what I mean? But people don't understand that. People should understand that. People can understand that, and they will. It just has to be brought to them in a more sensible manner so that they can grasp it. Of course they're able to understand that. We're all we're all one, we're all the same. I'm not better than anybody, I'm not superior. We're better at different things. Individually different at certain things, certain skills, yeah. But us as beings, no one is better or worse. No one is superior or inferior. We're all beings, you know. We just have to really work towards our potential. Work towards our liberation. That's what makes the difference between one person and the other. That's that's it. It's not that's that's not about superiority. Every person deserves food when they're hungry. Every person deserves love. Every person deserves kindness. Every person deserves a second chance. Every person. I mean, if they're honestly ready to change and to transform and to go beyond their old nasty habits... Everybody deserves a second chance. Why not? You know what I mean? I mean, if Trump, for example, <laughs> was honestly feeling bad for all the stupid stuff he's been doing and saying, if he really did, you know, I'm talking about if he really did, he deserves a second chance, man. If he really, you know, if he's if he's been if he's faking it, oh yeah, just forgive me, blah blah blah. That's different. <laughs> but as long as you're honest about it, man, you're you need you deserve a second chance. Of course you do. So, um, yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm just talking and I'm, I'm still filming the moth. <laughs> um. So. Uh, I guess I'll stop right now, but yeah, hope you guys like the video, I know it's not much of a, 
not much of a show here, but luckily it brought up so many deep, uh, uh, you know, topics, points, discussions. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you feel down at the comment section and all that good stuff. I know I make videos sometimes and then I disappear for a while. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'll try to keep myself up to date, especially for you guys who are really enjoying what I do, what I say. I know it's pretty different than what most people do. And I like it. I like being different, I like being unique. We're the same and we're different at the same time. We're we're a variety of difference and and uh, we're rich. You know, everyone is rich in their own way. But fundamentally, when we say we're the same, we're talking about our nature. The fundamental nature of a human being or even of a, any kind of being for that matter, not just a human being. Any kind of living being he, or celestial being, whatever, just beings in general. We're beings, and uh, we should uh, we should just uh, embrace that. And uh, every being has the same fundamental potential. Realizing this liberates us; it liberates the other. So you know. I'll see you guys uh, in the next video. Take care.